All right, so we were just down in there. We were looking at the soils down in the heart of that wet area. We've walked up out past this area that kind of we feel is basically the boundary of the wetland. We walked up into the uplands, and I've dug another soil pit here. And you can see it's much different than what we were looking at down in there. It's very dry. The color is different. Vegetation is completely different. So now I'll start looking at these soils. And I want to clean it up. I get a good look at it. Now, being that it's very dry, you always want to look at soils when they're moist, when they're when they're damp. They don't want to be dry. You won't get a true color out of it. So we use our water bottle to kind of wet this down. Now when we're looking at hydric soils, generally we're looking at the top six inches, generally. There's going to be times when we're going to be looking at indi for indicators that are lower in the soil profile. So for us, in this case, being in a, again, we'll look at the soil, we'll look at the, we'll feel the soil to figure out if we have a sand or a loamy soil. So I rub it, I don't create, when you have a loamy clay soil, when you rub like this, it'll actually fold out a ribbon, kind of like a wrapping tape ribbon, because the clay is really bound tight to each other, it sticks to each other, and it, it, it doesn't fall apart like sand does. You see this is just falling apart on me. It's very gritty. I don't feel any organics in this soil. So I'm pretty sure we have a sandy soil type. So I'm going to be generally looking in the top six inches of the soil. So that's about here. So I'm really concerned, interested in looking at what's going on in this top portion of the soil profile. Maybe you want to have a nice clean face and you want to have it moist. Now, we'll basically start going down our checklist of hydric soil indicators based on this manual. Looking at this right now, I don't see really anything in here that would be any of our indicators. It's very light in color. There's no organics. I don't see, I'm looking for a lot of things in here. And on another day, we'll go through the entire indicator list. But for right now, nothing is jumping at me see the difference between the two soil types. I don't have that strong organics. I don't have any indication that the water table is coming up to the surface or over and moving up and down, doing its thing. It's what the hydrology, as the groundwater table moves up and down in a, in a soil type, it leaves you with clues to where those hydric soils are or where the groundwater table is. It could be way lower. In fact, I don't see any indicators down pretty low here. We may need to dig down deeper to see where that hot water table is. But I'm not going to go through all of the hydric soil indicators today. There are some, maybe some small bits of organics in there. I'm not really seeing too much. We do have what looks like some balls of maybe organics, they're called accretions, but when I rub these, they're very gritty. There's not enough organics in this soil to constitute this to be a hydric soil. So now, we'll go ahead and we'll put this back in the ground, as if we hadn't been here. And now, as I would be to continue to delineate the hydric soils of this area, I will dig soil pits in so many foot increments across this boundary until I find where the soil types, the hydric soils fall out and I stick with only upland soils in the top. And I will do that here so I can place a boundary marker and say, this is the edge of the hydric soils. And then I'm gonna move down perpendicular to this point and do another transect and dig soil pits back and forth across this particular boundary that I pretty much have a feel for visually based on the vegetation as to where those hydric soils might be. So we can walk back down here and let's, let's dig maybe a couple more pits a little closer to the boundary. 
Let me get the tools. All right, so here we're back. We've moved a little bit further down the, the area we're delineating. And pretty confident now about the soils down in here. They're very hot, very organic, very wet in here. So it's where this veg line changes that I'm really now really paying close attention. And I, at first glances, I thought the, the limits of the hydro soils would be right here on this veg line. But I've dug four pits now in a sequence up this slope here, which is very gradual. And it's very surprising. The first pit I found, I still had hydric soils. So even while the grass that's growing in here is an upland grass, I've got hydric soils here. In the top, in the top four inches, we have really strong muck. There's next to no sand in there at all. So we definitely are meeting a, the hydric soil indicator A8 as if we were reading it down there, only now I actually have a bigger layer of it on the surface. Whereas we move down the soil profile, I get it into some more sandy soils. Out there, there must be some disturbance because we had like a strong muck layer, some sand, and then another layer of muck on top of that. So I'm not certain if this wasn't partially filled at one time or something's going on with the soils. But here, we have a strong muck layer in the top getting into a sandy soil. It has definitely some streaking from organics being pulled down as the, hyd as the hydrology of the water table moves up and down. I moved a little further up the line, dug another plug. And again, here, I'm still getting a muck soil. It's starting to be a little bit more sand in it now. It's a little bit gritty, but I definitely have at least two inches of some pretty good muck. Another A8 category here. Below that, we definitely have other indicators. Looks to me like we have some potential stripping. Get it nice and wet. You definitely see where the organics are getting pulled downward and they're streaking this soil type here. So I moved a little further up the line. To the next soil plug. Here, clean this up. We're starting to lose that muck now. Let it down. Okay, I don't have the muck anymore. It's pretty much all sand. So that might not mean that I don't have any more hydric soil, so I gotta look real close at this for other indicators. Now, it's a little bit darker here, so we might be looking at another indicator called dark surface. However, when you get this nice and wet, to be 70% or more coated with organics. And I'm really not seeing that here. And unfortunately you can't tell that with a with the camera, but we get a hand lens out to look at it very closely. You can actually see very close up with a hand lens whether or not we have the, the adequate coating of the sand grains with organics. To maybe meet some of the other indicators. I'm not seeing any hydric soils here. I moved a little further up, took another plug, and now we're getting even lighter soils. And I'm just not seeing anything in the top six inches to indicate I have a hydric soil up in here. And what we would do is, is now, me being a biologist more so by training, when I delineate wetlands, I'm really cueing in on the vegetation. But I use that to then hone in on looking at the soils closer to where I really can narrow down and say, okay, I got some kind of vegetation difference going on. All right, so as I was saying, we, now we kind of, you know, have an idea where that soil line is, where the veg line is. We're going to work our way down that boundary. And ever so often, every so many feet, maybe 25, 30, 50 feet down the line, 
we're going to start doing the same thing over again. We're going to set up a transect, we're going to dig soil pits down the line until we can see where those hydric soils begin and end. And we're going to do that all the way till we complete a, not necessarily a circle, but we close out the limits of that hydric soil unit. In some cases, it could be very extensive, covering vast acreage. Right here, it looks like we would have some kind of a small depressional wetland, somewhere in the order of two, three acres in size. And we would do that process of this soil probing all the way around until we can close off that boundary and isolate and delineate the hydro soils. I thank you very much for joining me on this little field excursion and I wish you luck in delineating wetlands.